just red or the blue red or the blue uh, which one was no i want green i don't even matter never watch the matrix hell no you never went sledding <laughs> My checks, yeah. Thought you was my future, but you're my ex. Nowadays, got a side chick on side chick. They keep having my iPhone, about to get a sidekick. But I don't like to stand up, told that girl to ride it. America, oh, buy it, go yard, buy it, fill it, little, buy it. Rick always buy it, off white, buy it. Even though I don't got buy it, feel on, tat it on. If you thought I was fine, girl, you need to back, back, or you need to. Right. Look at this beautiful day in Wisconsin okay. right now. Hold on, y'all see the sky? Her black yeah. ass talking about she ain't never went sledding, so we finna go sledding. Look at the sky though. Hold on, we gotta. Oh. Anyways, we finna take our black ass sledding for the one time. <laughs> I ain't been sledding like four or five years. She talking about she ain't never been sledding once, so we finna go sledding. Would you like to do the honors and go down first? Go ahead, I'm gonna watch. Right, she gonna do the honors and go down first. No, you go first. I'm gonna get you going down, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna see how fun it look at first. No, just go first. I'm being scared. You ain't been, you ain't never been sledding. I've been sledding before. This is nothing new to me. Go ahead. No. Look at y'all. Look at you. <laughs> look at you. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She takes about this. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Damn. He said one more time. He said one more time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ready? Trace. Dos. Uno. Oh shit. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Dude! <laughs> oh my mama is Oh my mama, we going crazy for real. A little bit. Huh? You look so cold. I look cold? Yes. You're like a <laughs> chickmunk, like from Alvin and the Chickmunks and shit. You alright? I'm fine. <laughs> I just keep going sideways. Oh, oh man. Oh. Niggas say that he don't like me, could get two fucks. Probably mad I hit his wife, he gave her a tuna. Hey, where I go, I keep the strap, bitch, I'm food up. Drugged up, double cupped up, bitch, I'm screwed up. Niggas, they be hating, but I swear that shit don't move us. We just let them talk, don't pay attention to the rumors. Ninth grade, put up in the school, and the left. All right, y'all, let's get right into this talk, bro. Oh, my mama, nigga. I'm editing a video, and I'm looking like, damn, it ain't no shit on my bed. But if you really paying attention to that, I was washing my sheets. They're back on. Hold up. Uh, niggas' beds was made, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't have to be laying in the bed with no sheets. So I don't try to get on that, bro. So she on the bed. Now I just have to wash them. That's why I wasn't on the bed, obviously. But you know what I'm saying? They back on. Ain't nobody a little dirty bed bugs. I'm washing my sheets, all right? Don't even be on that. Before we even start, let me just let y'all know I just got some free Chick Fil A. Y'all know what that is? That's Chick Fil A. But um, yeah, I just got some free Chick Fil A. Manifesting being broke, cause you'll get some free food. That's what I always do. And it always works. So by the title, you can see I quit my job, right? And yeah, I'm gonna just jump right into it. So for those who don't know, I used to work at Target. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible, cause it's not that late. I just want y'all to get this a little understanding. So we gonna go from here. I used to work at Target, right? I'm working there for like two years, bro. I'm 20, bro, so I just turned 20, actually. Oh, two years is a long time for me, but like, I don't like working. Like, this is actually my last job. Bro. Like, I'm, it's over. I ain't getting no more jobs, but I hate that shit. Full time YouTuber. So, yeah. All right, here's a little story. Backstory and all that. So, so let's rewind two years back. Two years back. Um, So, I got the job in August of 2018, right? 2021 now. August 2018, I was 17, young nigga. So I had a young mind since so I'm really like, I'm really like 16, but I'm 17, you know what I'm saying? Finna be a senior and all that, I just needed a job. I never wanted a job, I just had to get one for school and all that. So boom, I get the job, I ain't gonna talk too much. I got the job, I guess. No, actually, let's rewind, because Target don't hire people. I keep trying to tell people they don't hire people, but, cause I even got declined, I didn't even get the job, but so I hung up on it, like, you're not hiring right now. I'm like, all right, fuck that. I'm like, I'll get another job. But then they called me one day, and it was like, we still have a spot open if you you still looking for a job. So I'm like, hell yeah, I need this motherfucker, so let me have it. But um, so keep that in mind. So what had happened was two years ago, I applied at Target to be a card attendant. So like when I applied, 
I thought I was gonna be a card attendant, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm 17, like, I don't have no work experience. I don't like working, like, I don't wanna talk to people. I'm not good at that, I'm not into that. So I'm like, let me just do something I ain't gotta talk, like work in the back, or I push some damn cards. I just don't wanna have to communicate with customers and handle money. This is just a young nigga mindset. So I thought I applied for card attendant, right? Before I knew what the job was. Like, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a card attendant. But I really didn't even fill out the application. Like, I halfway did it, like, I did it with my godmoms and all that. Cause she was really filling it out, but. I was halfway feeling I was there when she did it. But I guess I didn't even apply for card attendant, I applied for cashier, so, or I don't even know. Maybe it goes back to that car, well they just hired, they hired me for cashier, that's what they needed. But when I got to the interview, they was like, all right, we're gonna give you an interview. They was like, um, talking to me about being a cashier, I'm like, I thought I, was, I said, I thought I applied for uh, card attendant, like, no, I said you apply for cashier, so I'm like, all right, fuck it, like, I need the job, I'm not gonna complain with these niggas, it's first day. So I, I, I ended up getting a job and it's like, if you want to learn card attendant, we'll teach you. I never said, yes, I'll do it, but I did want to do it. I'm like, I'm like, all right. So boom, I'm working as a cashier. So those of you don't know, just common sense, bro. Most cashiers, not dudes or people my age, you usually see like girls. Like it's not really a feminist thing, but it's just, you don't really see too many girls being cashier. So anytime like someone is not a card attendant, they had to tell me to do it, which I didn't have a problem with because it's a job. I'm gonna get the job done. I ain't gonna trip over it. And um, so the two years, bro, like somebody not there call in, someone don't come or someone on vacation, someone quit, I go fill in for those days. Like it don't usually be that long. Like the most I've ever done is straight like two weeks. I go back to doing what I'm doing. But I just fill in. I'm not a card attendant though. Hell, when I got to doing it, I don't like this. Nigga, it's cold outside. It's too hot. It's raining. It's snowing. Nobody want to be. Don't nobody want to be out here pushing no carts. Like I'm saying, I'm doing it because they need me to do it. I don't like doing it. So if you think I like it, I, I don't know. So boom, for the last two years, like I'm a cashier, but sometimes they put me on cars and I don't be tripping, so boom, that's that. Recently, it was cold as shit. Everyone knows, or if you're from Wisconsin or in a cold place, it'd be for some reason it'd just be a week where it's just cold as shit or a time period. This week, all of a sudden I'm a car attendant. The coldest week in the winter. It was in February too, I think, or maybe yeah, it was in February. I think it was like zero degrees every day. Like it was like one degrees, ten degrees. Like bro, negative. I'm like, I'm not gonna work outside. So I'm like, finally, I'm gonna just keep it real. I went up to them. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to beat no damn car attendant when it's this cold outside. So he like, well, I, ain't, I don't know how I said it, but all I know is I talk to him. I'm like, bro, I don't have no desire doing this, bro. Like you don't have to say change this because they have me scheduled for three weeks doing it. I'm like, nah. That's dead, boss. I ain't doing this for no three weeks. I'm telling him, like, nah, I can't do this. He said, well, after three weeks is done, we can we can uh, change our position. We won't put you back there. I'm like, no. I'm like, that's dead, bro. He said that. It's up to you on how you want to take that. I'm like, telling myself, like, nigga, I'm not going to be doing this for no three weeks when it's this cold outside. Like, nigga, I get hypothermia, nigga. Motherfucking um, frostbitten, cold and flu, COVID. Bro, I'm like, I'm not doing this, bro. It's over. Like, no. So, yeah. I just made my decision then and there. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to be pushing on cars for no three weeks when it's winter time. I'm like, it's going to be freezing. And I can make more money not coming in the warm and doing what I want to do. So, I'm like, nah, it's over, bro. Like, I wasn't for the comfort of those three weeks, so I had no other choice really. I could have made up some and probably kept a job. I really never wanted a job. I just kept it just to have couple sources of income and all that, teaching myself responsibility in case I needed a job. But really, I didn't really need the job, I just was going. So I was kind of wasting my time. So I think it was a sign from God to be a YouTuber full time or just not work that. I don't know what the sign is. We'll figure it out in time. But yeah, so I finally quit my job for two years. I'm never getting a job again. Well, my last job, unless YouTube gonna be my job, which I think it will be. So. I don't know where we go from here. I don't know where we go from here. I was thinking about pranking him. I'm kind of a nice person. I don't know if I really want to do that to him. I'm kind of nice. But you let me know. You know what I'm saying? Get this much like 30 likes. I don't get that much views anyways. I know 100 people be watching this usually. Like 30 likes. I'll do a fire little prank on my mom. You know what I'm saying? So, if you watch this this long, like seven, eight minutes into this video, maybe even nine minutes. Like the video, because I'll tell me if y'all really want to see me do a prank on them, because I will. I ain't going to go too crazy. Nah, I'm going to go crazy on them. So, like this video. We from the takeoff. I appreciate you for watching this mug. Full-time YouTuber now. All right, then.